Hi, YouTube. <clears throat> Mary once again. Just moving kind of slow today. My allergies are acting crazy. So I'm taking, taking my glasses off because I can't see with them on. So i as well to take them off. This quick video is about this thing with uh, the Roe v. Wade. Uh, during that time when it happened, Henry Wade, he he was um, here in Dallas, and I we had to go to court for something. Me and my ex, I can't think what it was, but I did get to meet Henry Wade. He's a pretty rough uh, man <laughs> to me and play. But I really hate that they are doing away with this abortion thing where a woman has a, doesn't have a choice with her body because it's her body and it's her business, you know? But I think if the truth be told, if some of these old white men would tell the truth, black men too, just men in general, tell the truth about how many women that they've gotten pregnant and, and they are married men and encourage the woman to go have an abortion because I knew a girl back in the day she she was going with different judges and she had gotten pregnant and she had uh mis uh did miscarry not miscarry but abortions because she's pregnant by a judge so if these men would tell the truth this this stuff worked in their favor too having abortions for unwanted babies and it's, it's just, I don't know. And the thing about it, if we're going to do away with abortion because we so think life is so sacred, then why do we have the death penalty? Let's do away with that. And some states don't have it. So let's let's think about that. You, Texas, you're the main one that would kill people in a minute. Let your conscience really be clear if you're going to do this. And... And then think about all the, every time you eat a chicken or a rabbit or a pig or whatever, you didn't kill something so you could eat. And we are, we are, they say we're meat eaters, but we could live without meat. So if we're going to make it hard, let's make it hard all the way around. But I don't know what they plan to do about a young girl that's uh, been raped because I was like, I, I wasn't even 10 years old, I don't think, when I could have gotten raped by a man that was hiding in the bushes. So what about the young girls that, that they because they said they was going to do away with it in case of rape, incest, whatever. It just don't make sense. And um, I don't know. I never had to have an abortion because that just didn't set with me. But in some situations... I see it necessary. And if a woman doesn't want to have that child, she she may smother it when she, before she take it home or leave it in the hospital. So that's just another burden on society to take care of this unwanted child. But like they say, if we could do away with uh, something that's been upheld for over 40 years or more, then the people, the gay people who were married, you could, y'all could lose y'all rights too. I don't know how they do it, but my th my word to the women: just have sex responsibly and use a condom. And the average man, he's not gonna want to do that, but yeah, but use a condom and birth control pills. Make sure you don't get pregnant. Because I knew a young girl, it was sad how many abortions she would have because she would get pregnant by a man that she didn't too much care for. He too dark, he too that, so she'd kill the baby. The next year, she's pregnant again. Oh, we're not going to make it. I'm going to kill this baby. So she killed about three, and I say kill, that's what she did. She murdered about three babies before she decided to have one by this light-skinned man. He still didn't marry her. 
So when the baby got sick, this girl hollering, ain't Mary, ain't Mary, pray or my baby's sick. And I said, that's in God's hand, you know, you know, calm or shoot. And I didn't, you know, make it hard on her, but you know, you got to think, you, you do reap what you sow. But women protect yourself now and just make sure you don't get pregnant and go get you some birth control pills or whatever it takes not to get pregnant because they're making it hard on, on you. And you can make it, you can make it because I'm not going to say you're going to lose the fight, but it, it's, I don't know what's going on where it's a, a problem with the, uh, maybe, maybe they want, the somebody wants somebody to keep having babies. I know it can't be about us because they don't care about black people and Hispanic people. You know they're mostly Catholic, so they they do have a lot of children. But maybe the white race is uh, not multiplying as much as they like. I don't know, but my this is just for the women. Be careful and guard yourself, guard your bodies, and because uh, it is your temple and don't get pregnant unless you're in a committed relationship and and this too shall pass because one day <laughs> one day you're not gonna be able to have children unless you get uh in your 40s or 50s or whatever so but be careful because times are changing anyway that's all i had to say talk to you later I hope my sinuses get better. Bye-bye.